Hi everybody, it's Dana Dermford. I'm back with another Fukushima 11th anniversary quiz for you today. Did Fukushima nuclear meltdowns affect the Pacific Ocean? And I'm sorry to inform you that it most certainly did. And in fact, they showed you the tsunami map for several years and all kinds of media from NOAA, when NOAA actually had a model of the Pacific Ocean available. Maybe worse than thought. A a studies from last year indicate that radioactive water will contaminate the entire Pacific Ocean in just six years. Kim Minji reports. This graphic shows the gradual contamination of the Pacific Ocean due to leaks of radioactive water from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan. The simulation, which was run by a German marine research institute, shows the entire Pacific waters being polluted by radioactive water in just six years. And we know for sure that cesium remains dispersed throughout the water column from the surface to the ocean floor. It's already polluted. Uh, it also fell out of the sky and covered the oceans within about two weeks worldwide. We launched expeditions from Vancouver, British Columbia, all the way to Alaska for six years. This is uh, me on one of my expeditions. I usually didn't come back home for four to five months a year. And we went and researched every facet of the ocean and the estuaries. New York Times had reported that ocean life faced mass extinction and we may be on the precipice of a major extinction event in marine wildlife. The research expeditions were quite frightening. The species to your left have actually been exterminated. They didn't return. We done the entire coastline year after year, and these are the pictures to the right are the bef after and to the left before. And radioactive sea spray has been shown to blow for hundreds of kilometers inland, and for tens of thousands of years, that harm will continue. There are links below. We're doing a live show tonight on the 11th anniversary. Hope you find time to join us. Have a nice day anyway.